let's move on to talking about what happens after you've set up your environment already and you need to optimize um, what actually happens with search. In the world of relevancy-based search, this means talking about search indexes. They are the foundation of what makes Lucene and consequently Atlas Search so powerful. And as a developer data platform, we strongly believe that users should be able to use and manage their search indexes wherever they are. And oftentimes, this means where they're already working with their database indexes. Historically, you have been able to create search index through the Atlas UI, the Atlas Admin API, and the Atlas CLI. We also support a number of integrations through um, Terraform and AWS CloudFormation, but we know that this is not enough for all of our users. So I am incredibly excited to announce not one, not two, but three brand new ways that you will be able to create, update, delete, manage your search indexes. Can I get a few shouts in the audience of where you might want to manage your search indexes? Don't be shy. Nothing? Quiet crowd today. Well, I'll give you the answer. Starting today with Mongo Shell and the Node.js driver, you will now have access to four brand new commands where you can create, update, delete, and manage your indexes. Support for other drivers and Cumbus are also coming later this year. Let's take a look at what syntax looks like in Mongo Shell. So I can use the create search index command to create a search index by passing in a name. Here I'm using my search index and passing in a search index definition in JSON. This is just the default definition for those who aren't familiar where dynamic is set to true. That just means that all the fields in all my documents are gonna be indexed. Next, I can use update search index if I decide that I wanna change something about how my indexes, my documents are being indexes. All I have to do is pass in the name of my index and pass in the new index definition. Here you can notice that dynamic is now set to false and I've decided that I want to index the description field as a string type. Later, some time goes by and I decide that I don't need this index anymore. To keep my cluster clean, all I have to do is call drop search index, pass in the name of that index that I want to delete, and boom, it's gone away. At any time during this process, I can also use the get search indexes command to get an overview of all the search indexes within my collection and see what their statuses are. I won't spend any time going over the exact syntax for every driver, but as usual, you can expect the driver syntax to be natural to that language's semantics and if Compass is where you prefer to manage your search indexes and queries, you will be able to do that as well later this year.